Well, I grew up in a, a, a very traditional liberal congregational church in Connecticut. And by the time I went to college, I figured I didn't want anything to do with it. Um, and then um, in um, one and then several of my psychedelic experiences, I had experiences in which you would only describe using religious vocabulary. You could use non-religious too. Sometimes I use the word unit of consciousness for mystical experience. But there's a sense of um, blessedness, sacredness, holiness that occurs, which brings up interesting questions as, is this just a chemical thing in the brain or is, does it reserve, have something to do with the outside world? Um, and so also I found that the music, much to my surprise, that I responded to mostly was music that came out of religious traditions. And the biggest surprise at all was getting into a Gregorian chants. I never would ever imagine I would have gotten into Gregorian chants. But then I also get into ragas and sitar music. Um, um, St. Cecilia Mass is a particularly beautiful thing. So um, I found that, that when I could get in the right state and the music was you know, a good external input, I, f I felt uh, um, psychologically, spiritually, morally elevated. Um, so that's basically how I, I got into it. And then the big thing is that I realized re religion was about something, um, and it's about that state. So then I, re then I realized that my approach to religion had been the traditional uh, the theology, dogma, belief system, and that my approach to religion was not through the cognitive door, but through the direct experience door. And that's how I, and that's why I've been spending the last decade or so of my life looking at religious experiences and the way to produce them and how to interpret them and why sometimes you have one and sometimes you don't. Some people have them and some people don't. So that's, that's, that's that door through basically through my own experience. And then discovering that there's this immense literature out there. Uh, now, people say that, you know, you can't use words to describe a mystical experience and then they write a 500 page book on their mystical experience. <laughs> but but they, it's always in sort of poetry and analogy writing.